In this video, we are going to discuss about hematopoiesis. Hematopoiesis is the process of formation of blood cells and platelets. These are derived from the hematopoietic stem cells. Hematopoiesis first begins in the third week of pregnancy in the yolk sac. From the third month, it begins in the liver and fetal placenta. Fourth month onwards, this process is taken over by the bone marrow. In an adult, the hematopoiesis is restricted to the axial skeleton only. Now let's look into the process. It begins with the hematopoietic stem cells. These cells have the ability to divide and form its own kind of cells which is called self-renewal. It can also divide to give rise to precursor cells known as multipotent progenitor and pluripotent progenitor by the process of differentiation. Pluripotent progenitors can give rise to all kinds of cells in the body. Embryonic stem cells are considered as pluripotent progenitor but multipotent progenitor are limited to only few kinds of cells. Adult stem cells and cord cells are called multipotent progenitor. This then give rise to common myeloid progenitor and common lymphoid progenitor. The common lymphoid progenitor gives rise to natural killer cells, T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. Then we look into the myeloid series. The common myeloid progenitor gives rise to four kinds of cells which have the suffix blast. Blast means immature precursor cells. If we can see, each word ends with blast. So we have for the platelets, megakaryoblast, for the granulocytes, myeloblast, for the monocyte, monoblast, and erythrocyte, proerythroblast. We will look into the erythrocyte series later. First, let's see the first three ones. Megakaryoblast gives rise to promegakaryocyte. Site means smaller cells. So blast divides into sites. Pro means before. Therefore, before megakaryocyte comes pro megakaryocytes. And evidently, after pro megakaryocyte comes megakaryocyte. Similarly, in myeloblast, pro myelocytes, then myelocytes, neutrophilic, basophilic, eosinophilic. Then metamyelocytes. Meta means after. Since you can remember that myeloblast gives to more number of more type of cells, neutrophil, basophil, eosinophil, it has an extra step of metamyelocyte. But in monocyte, then comes pro monocyte, monocyte. Then we see the pro erythroblast. This is the only series that starts with the pro prefix. It is only different from these three. So it gives rise to pro erythroblast or pro normoblast, which then divides to erythroblast or normoblast where the hemoglobin synthesis begins. Then it divides to form early normoblast, which is basophilic, which further divides to intermediate normoblast, where the hemoglobin first appears, which is a polychromatic, which then further divides to late normoblast, which is optochromatic. Then the normoblast divides into reticulocyte. Then the reticulocyte gives rise to erythrocyte. Thus, from the common myeloid progenitor, we get platelets, neutrophil, basophil, eosinophil, monocyte, erythrocyte. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching.